So where did this come from? I because mean, it's a blessing, true enough, but really it was just me sitting down being honest. I talk, all of my friends are men. I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm, I'm incapable of that. Why? And, what do you mean? Well, because, you know, come on. Because you have a wife. Real. Well, I have a wife, and I don't, I don't really have female friends because, look, okay, let's get rid of this myth <laughs> I right here. Know why. Okay, I'm okay. going to tell you this. Let's get rid of this right here. There, you, you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, yeah, I'm, we're friends. No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. We remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the armor, and trust and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. Because we're most guys. Men think this way. Ninety-nine point nine percent of us think that way. And you tell this to a woman, and it just blows her back. No, I have male friends. You have male friends because they know it can be nothing else right now. I tell you what, all your male friends, just ask them in a friendly way. If if I wanted to date you, would you be okay with that? And watch, watch the fireworks. <laughs> watch. I am a firm believer that men and women cannot be just friends. It is impossible. I've said this in countless videos, and I'm going to say it again. If you and a guy are just friends, you there's a there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you're unattractive. 99.9% .9 chance that you don't look that good. Men are opportunists. The moment you slip up, we slip in. So when you're in a relationship, right, you got a boyfriend, you got a husband, and you getting upset at your husband or your boyfriend because he's telling you that he don't trust your male friends, he's uncomfortable with the relationship that you and your male friend have, and you want to get in your feelings and call this man insecure, you crazy. Now, girl, you know good and goddamn well that motherfucker want that pussy. You ain't here fronting like y'all y'all brothers and sisters. This is my best friend, and we, we knew each other since the second grade. Second grade, my ass. I don't feel comfortable with you emotionally bonding with some next nigga, man. Because me, you, and him know that he trying to smash. You know he trying to smash. But as soon as I bring it up, you're going to be like, oh, you being insecure, insecure what? If he make a move, I'm going to just head, head a little what? Let me tell you something. I wouldn't buy no piece of pizza and and and, and, and just leave it out there for, for a dog to see. You know what I'm saying? If you own one of them little Yorkies or Chihuahuas or whatever them dogs is because I don't like pets, and you order some Domino's, and I'm just using Domino's because Domino's is nasty, but... Using this as an example, um, I'm not leaving my slice out there so the dog can see. I'm not giving the dog. I'm not giving the dog access to no slice of pizza. Why would I do that? That just doesn't make any sense. Would you do that? Do you trust your dog that much? Hmm. No. I know you don't. That's if you own pets. I can't tell you how women think. I could tell you how men think. Because I'm a man. We think about sex 24-7. Even if we come through that situation respecting our relationship. He might have came through the situation respecting our relationship. And then one day it might just click. You might have turned a certain way. The, the, the sun might have hit you a certain type of way. The sweat might drip down your face a certain type of way. Shit, them leggings or them jeans might fit them cheeks a certain type of way. And now he just, oh. Oh, shit, I didn't even know she had all that back there. Damn, I didn't even know she looked that good. The fuck? Is that, is that Tanya? Is that Tanya? You know what I'm saying? That, that be going on, bro. I'm telling y'all, folk. And I'm saying it because I'm a man. I've been in that type of situation. I've had to cut female friends off because I'm married. I don't have female friends. I can't afford to have female friends because I know... Who I am. I know who I am. My dick still work. You feel what I'm saying? It still work. It still jump. It still get aroused. Now, I don't want to disrespect my family like that, so I'd rather cut you off. Stay away from me, vampire. Stay away from me, vampire. But you know what? The moment you tell your girl, hey, man, I don't trust, I don't trust, um, 
old boy right there. Or you don't even gotta say I don't trust him. You just be like, yo, I don't I don't feel comfortable with your relationship. You know what she gonna say? You being insecure. You being insecure. I'm not being insecure, bitch. I'm being insightful. I'm letting you know what's up. She gonna hit you with all this sister soldier garbage. All that Jenny Jones, Ricky Lake, Oprah garbage. Let a woman be a woman. Let her handle it. Let me handle it. It's not about you handling. It's about the, the level of disrespect that goes with me knowing that a nigga's trying to get at you. But you still allowing that situation to happen. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it makes sense in my head. I'm telling you, son. I know dudes that attended weddings where they smash the wife a few years back. And now, a few years forward, after the wedding, meaning that the couple have been married a couple years, this man and the, 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 uh, the husband are like BFFs. They watch football games together. They go on trips together. Meanwhile, they holding this little secret over the husband's head. You ever seen Baby Boy? It's kind of like, not Baby Boy. Y'all ever seen, uh, 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 that damn movie, man, The Best Man. Y'all ever seen The Best Man? It's kind of like The Best Man. Y'all think it's ain't for The Best Man Me? I'm going to be real. I just don't feel comfortable with my woman being emotionally attached to some Random nigga. Because that emotion leads to stuff. Folks are just waiting. He waiting for that opportunity. We had some Mexican dudes over here um, fixing our wall. They was fixing our wall or whatever. And uh, what's the shit called, man? When you break the wall and you, you, you put it back and smooth it over. You feel me? I forgot what it is. I shouldn't have used that as an example. But um, that's that. That white shit. Fit right in them cracks. And smooth it over. As soon as the fucking crack open up, y'all be walking around here like y'all got that Sloman shield. Got no damn Sloman shield, bitch. Dudes do not really care about your relationship once, once that line is crossed. Your male friend, he's just chilling, waiting for you to even cross that line. Or for you to erase the line. So he can cross it. I hope that makes sense.